I am happy to continue my discussion with the majority leader about reopening the government. We've had several conversations, talks will continue, but we have yet to reach an agreement on a path forward that would be acceptable for both sides. Senators on both sides failed to reach a deal and a compromise tonight, cancelling a planned late-night vote. And so the flurry of finger-pointing in Washington continues as lawmakers play the blame game on day two now of the government shutdown. So the shutdown is going to continue for at least another day or so. Senators will meet again tomorrow afternoon in an attempt to try and end this stalemate. But as Ellen Mora reports, the polarizing issue of immigration stands in the way. Democrats who stand in our way will be complicit in every murder committed by illegal immigrants. This ad just released shows just how heated shutdown politics have become. I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. What both sides agree on, the other party is to blame. Americans know why the dysfunction is occurring. A dysfunctional president. Hence, we are in a Trump shutdown. This shutdown was a political miscalculation of gargantuan proportions. Democrats don't want to hand over votes unless there's a guarantee to protect the dreamers, young people brought to the U.S. illegally as children. Republican leaders are accusing the Democrats of holding the government hostage over one issue. Bipartisan, bicameral negotiations have been underway for months. But they can go nowhere until Senate Democrats realize the extreme path their leader has charted leads them nowhere. But today, some movement, a bipartisan group of moderate senators working for compromise behind the scenes. Their challenge, pleasing more extreme members of their own parties. Their plan fell short, at least for now. This comes after weeks of failed meetings to avoid the shutdown in the first place. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham blamed in part hard right members of President Trump's staff. I've talked with the president. His heart is right on this issue. I think he's got a good understanding of what will sell. And every time we have a proposal, it is only yanked back by staff members. President Trump has not been seen publicly since the shutdown began. And White House officials say that while the Democrats are holding the government, quote, hostage, the president will not negotiate on the status of so-called illegal immigrants, referring to the Dreamers, a group the president has repeatedly said in the past he wants to help. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Washington. Now, the full effect of the shutdown won't really be felt until workers don't show up Monday morning, tomorrow. The good news is it doesn't have impact critical government functions like policing, but there are some non-essential services that have already come to a grinding halt, disappointing and inconveniencing mostly tourists so far this weekend. So it's one of the highlights of our tour. Um, we definitely wanted to see it. Um, so quite let down, actually. Visitors weren't allowed to tour the Statue of Liberty in New York. It was among many of the federal monuments and historic sites that closed as of midnight Friday. There's no bathrooms, <laughs> so that does make it a little hard, <laughs> which would really be nice if they had those open. But, you know, you understand they don't have the staff. And while many national parks are indeed open, important services like bathrooms, for instance, information centers, and even first aid stations are not. Visitors are being warned that they'll be hiking through those parks at their own risk. 